Hey what's up guys, Johnny here back with more Call of Duty Mobile news. COD Mobile official YouTube posted the Halloween trailer last night when I was sleeping. And I just got back and I saw that and it's revealing some stuff that's coming very very soon for Halloween. Some stuff we already know but also some stuff that is kind of a teaser. Like they don't say everything but it smells like zombies for sure, 100% zombies coming back. Now, not sure it's going to be a zombie mode, but we are going to get some zombies action. So let's check out the trailer together, guys. Now, first thing they're talking about is the pumpkin confirm mode. It's already underway. We already have pumpkin confirm a seasonal challenge or featured challenge with some rewards. Now, there's still five days left on that one. I'm already done. I still have to play some games, but I don't have to because I already claimed all the rewards. Now, guys, if you didn't do it, I would say just do it. It's very fast. See, you can get all the rewards with less than 10 games. You just have to play some games on the new stand of Halloween and some games in Pumpkin Confirm. You have to collect. It's like dog tags. It's like Kill Confirm, but it's pumpkins. So yeah, it's kind of worth it because just because of the charm, like it's a one time deal, guys. And I think down the road, you might regret not getting that one if you don't do it now. But anyways, that's the pumpkin confirm event. Five days left. Uh, then they talk about the Halloween standoff map. Like again, it's not released today. We already knew about that. So like I said, most of the stuff in the trailer we already know about. But there's that thing right here, zombies. They say the fog shroud something in battle royale. So right off the bat, we know that it's a battle royale mode. It's not the zombie mode, right? Now, one more thing I want to talk about is this. At the start of the trailer, look at that. A war machine skin. And it looks really dope. Gonna pause here on that frame. Uh, blue and yellow-ish. I don't know if it's a skin we already have in the game. Because I couldn't say. Like, could be... I think Glacier Skin or something like that, the name. I was thinking about that one, Dream Glacier, but probably not the same. It kind of looks like the same colors, but I would be surprised if it's the same. But still, it looks like we're getting a new War Machine skin, and it would not be the first time. I don't know if you guys remember last Christmas. Uh, it was in Battle Royale. We had a special Christmas War Machine inside the boxes. But we could never unlock the skin. We could just use it in the game. So I don't know about that one, guys. Is it going to be something we can unlock as a reward and have it forever? Or is it something we can just use for a special game mode and then it's gone? I would be really hyped to have that one. Now, if we do get it, it would be our second operator skin that we can collect in the game. Like right now, everything else is default. We don't have skins. And I don't even know if we can say it's a skin because you kind of have to choose between the H2O or the regular purifier. It's not really a skin. It's two different weapons. Like one shoots fire and one shoots water. But still, like it was the first different variation of an operator skill. So I'm expecting the new one. Really hoping it's going to be a skin. But it's still looking like it shoots the same, the same ammo. So not a different variation like the purifier but probably just a skin. It would be nice. And then the last part. And it really is zombies. Looks like it's going to be in Battle Royale Alcatraz. And they give a few clues about what's going to happen. First of all, they say Battle Royale, so it's not going to be a secret. Uh, mystery boxes. So, like, there could be two different things. First would be just regular Battle Royale. And then if you play Battle Royale and you see zombies inside the buildings, you can shoot them and collect mystery boxes. And I would say as the other events we had in the past, collectible events, uh, we could collect these items on the ground and when you have a certain amount, you can exchange at the exchange center. Now the other possibility would be that the zombies just drop loot. Like we had, I don't know if you guys remember the zombie Christmas event. There was a big zombie boss, the Santa Claus with a bunch of zombies following. And when you kill the zombies, they drop loot on the ground, including some special grenades and stuff like that. So, again, I would be a little bit disappointed if it's just like the Christmas event. I would like to see something that we can grind and we can collect and exchange for rewards. Usually the updates are Thursday night and Friday is the 30th. So 30, 31, Halloween, Saturday. 
Now, of course, the last option would be that we're just going to play regular zombies on the Alcatraz map. I would be very surprised, though. I don't expect that, but it would be cool. And let me show you guys something. Now, if you go to your loadout inventory, I don't know if you saw, guys, but we have revive tokens, revive coin. What are we going to do with that? Why are they still here? Uh, are they planning to let us use them? Because I have a bunch for real. I never got to use them that much. But zombie revive tokens are still there in the game for a reason, I'm sure. So maybe we can use them in the new event. Maybe we're going to have a chance to revive ourselves. Let me know in the comments, guys. What do you expect for that new zombie mode? Is it just going to be regular BR? Is it just going to be dropping stuff on the ground? Is it going to be a collectible event? Or is it just going to be straight up zombies? I would be excited, but I don't expect that. So I won't be disappointed, I guess. But that's it for now, guys. Short video. Again, Cut Mobile News. Hope you guys enjoyed. Smash like if you did. And smash like if you're excited for Halloween. It's going to be awesome. I'm pretty sure we're going to have new seasonal events and all that as usual. So I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.